Hey, folks, how we doing today? Oh, excited beyond compare. Hello everyone and welcome back to A Couple Bucks. This is Couple as per usual and Nova as per usual as well. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of a catch up. As you guys probably noticed, I took about a week and a half off of booktube. I just had some other stuff I had to get done and that stuff is mostly done. Maybe. We'll also wait to see about that. I'm back and I wanted to do a little bit of a catch up with you guys and then tell you guys what we can be expecting and we are going to be doing as well a little bit of a book haul today. So I hope you guys are ready. Let's get settled in. If you're not wearing your seatbelts, I advise so. If you are having a cocktail in your hand, I would advise putting it aside for a second and settling in. Let's get started. Okay guys, so first off, as you guys know, I took a little bit of time off. I This was not my best reading month ever. April was not a great month, but we did get a few books done, but we are not going to be doing a wrap up yet. Reason is, is because I have a few books that I'm like in the middle of. And by like a few, I mean like I've got like five books I'm in the middle of, and I'd rather finish those up and then give you guys a wrap up a little bit later on versus doing like a half wrap up now, if that makes sense with you guys. So, hold off on your guys' wrap up video. It'll be coming shortly to you. Be surely, it will be shortly coming to all, what is the word? It will be shortly coming to theaters near you. So don't you guys fret at all. Okay, next thing is, I noticed that because we don't have enough subscribers to like be able to make announcements on the YouTube site itself, there's really no way to communicate with you guys when there is an issue or when I'm not gonna be posting today. So because of that, I am making a book Instagram account, like, you know, Instagram, but like for books, it's like a formula. Here's Instagram, here's a book, and now here's Bookstagram. So we are gonna be doing a Bookstagram account. It's gonna be a couple books. The link's gonna be down below. Just sign up if you guys want to. I'll be posting things I'm reading currently, taking photos of some of the books, my shelves, fun bookish stuff, and I'll be also making announcements on there as in what videos I'll be posting, when I'll be posting them, if I'm not gonna be posting today, that kind of stuff. So be sure to sign up, the link will be down below. Next, we have, of course, we have to get into the real exciting stuff, which is gonna be a book haul. So, we're gonna hold off a little bit on my TBR because I don't want to rush into my TBR for this month until I finish some of the books I have to finish. So, let us get into what I picked up this month, which is like maybe a lot. You guys will be the judge of that. So with that, let us get into that. The first two books I hauled this month is going to be two short stories by Brandon Sanderson. First is Snapshot. Second is The Emperor's Soul. Snapshot is a detective noir book, I do believe, and it basically involves uh, this futuristic world where there, it's not a real city, and in this not real city there was a real crime committed. Now these police officers, yeah that's the word, have to go and investigate the crime and how they're able to do that is they're able to use their badges to like go back in time and see what happened and they're able to see it in this not real city that is representative of a real city somewhere and they're able to solve the crime that way. Does that make sense? It didn't make so much sense to me so I'm going to read it and find out what it's really about. The next one I have is The Emperor's Soul by Brandon Sanderson. For those who are not aware this is a short story written in the world of Cell, if that's how you pronounce it, which is where the book Elantris takes place in. I read Elantris before starting book two but I loved it. It was an amazing book. One of my all-time favorites and like probably one of my all-time favorite standalones. This is set in that world, so I'm really excited to visit it again. This follows a girl who has to forge a soul. She's a soul forger, and she has to forge the soul of the emperor. And that is not a spoiler because it's in the title. So we are good to go. Let's move on. My next two books for you guys is going to be The Network Effect by Martha Wells. I have purchased the three short stories before this, or is there four? One of those, I purchased all the short stories before it. This is the first full length novel in this world, but basically it's futuristic and it follows these things called murder bots. Murder bots are bots that murder. 90% of the time I have no idea what the f I'm talking about. And they don't really have a conscious because they're robots, but our main protagonist has a conscious and he has hacked the system. So he's able to like be a, a free thinker, you know? Yeah. 
he's gonna be a revolutionary people but instead of being a revolutionary he's just kind of depressed and he watches TV shows and he still does his murdering bot jobs because he doesn't want anyone to find out that he's hacked the system and has gained a conscious for what I hear it's hilarious it's very funny I've heard about the series quite a bit I know that the next book is coming out very shortly so I wanted to pick this one up and the other tril other um, short stories so as soon as those all get in I'll show it to you guys but for right now we have the first full-length novel in the Martha Wells Murderbot world. Next, we have A History of What Happens Next by Sylvia Nouvelle. This is the same author who wrote Sleeping Giant series, which is a sci fi trilogy. This is as well a sci fi book which follows, I think, from what I've gathered, I don't know too much about this one, but from what I've understood from things, them, they told me, mystical they, who's they, we don't know, but they told me that this book is kind of got some um, historical fiction kind of thing going on there's some sci-fi elements kind of got like man in the high castle kind of vibes to it and it has something to do with nazis and the ss maybe possibly and basically this secret family or the secret society that kind of controls the world from behind the scenes so definitely some Illum illuminati vibes with some man in the high castle vibes with some historical fiction and sci-fi elements. I really liked Sleeping Giants, the first book, so I'm really excited to get into this and we'll see if it's good. So, next round. As you guys are aware, I'm currently working through a Agatha Christie read-a-thon. Not really, because it's not a thon. It's just a read. So just like, read-a-thon minus the thon. There we go. Okay, so the next two books I picked up is Hercules Christmas, or Hercules Perot's Christmas. This is a Hercules Perot uh, crime for those who didn't pick that up based on the title, but basically Hercule, um, Perot is invited to a Christmas Eve meal. Someone dies. He has to investigate it. That's pretty much it. it that, yeah, that, that sums it up. Let's be short and sweet. The next one is the City Ford Mystery. This is a standalone. I do, I do believe I don't think it has any of the detectives attached to it, but this one it revolves around a seance where the person who's running the seance says that this person who is six miles away has died and there's really no way to prove it and they're all snowed in so the people at the seance are going to have to choose whether or not to go out and see if this person actually died. Was it spirits telling the truth? Were spirits not telling the truth? Were there actually spirits? I don't know but it's a murder mystery and I like murder mysteries. So the next two Agatha Christie books. Moving on. Next we have Charlie Strauss's The Atrocity Archives. This is the first book in The Laundry Files. I do believe is the name of the series. Yeah, The Laundry Files. I don't know why it's called The Atrocity Archives. I do believe it's The Laundry Files. It's The Laundry Files. First book in The Laundry Files. I spoke about this in Pick My Next series. I picked it up because some people said it was a good idea. Some people didn't say it was a good idea, but I picked it up nonetheless because it sounded interesting. Maybe we'll be picking up in this upcoming month, or we're actually in that month already, so let's not make any obligations we can't commit to, couple. Okay, Jesus Christ, please calm down. Okay, moving on. Shh. Yeah, so this is basically about a man who's like an accountant at a super secret spy agency, and the super secret spy agency deals with all those paranormal, creepy, other world monstrosities that may cross into our world. They deal with all the supernatural things that might happen in our world and they cover it all up but he's just a standard guy who works in the accounting department of this super secret spy agency. So sounds interesting to me. Don't know too much more about it. If you guys want to hear more be sure to check out that video. It'll be down below. Next, My Best Friend's Exorcism by Gadry Hen Grady Hendrix. This is my going to be my second Grady Hendrix novel. I read his vampire book, which I forget what it's called, but it'll be up on the screen right here. I really enjoyed it. I wanted to pick up more Grady Hendrix books, so this is going to be my next one to pick up by him. This one basically is an 80s, 80s like pop culture, exorcism, demonic possession, horror thriller book. That's It basically follows these best friends from early childhood as they grow up and then one of them gets possessed and henceforth we have my best friend's exorcism. I don't know if she gets exercised or not. We're waiting to find that out. But I'm currently this far into it. I'm really enjoying it. I really love this book. The hardcover edition is absolutely fab. I know certain people are going to really appreciate this but they they formed it as they formed it as if it is a actual yearbook, which is pretty exciting. So, as you guys can see, here is like autographs as you would see in an actual real life yearbook. Here's some photos as you would also see in a actual real life yearbook. And then there's the start of the book. So it's got a really fun format to it physically. I'm really excited about the premise. 80s pop culture, bring it on people. We got this. Okay, I totally know every single soundtrack that is relevant to 80s pop culture. Absolutely. 
this is not the Illuminati. I apologize. Okay, stop. stop. Now we're going to be doing some rapid fire start of series that I've kind of gone over. Some I've gone over, some I haven't. So, ready, set, go. We have Faded by Benedict Jacka. This is a Dresden Files look-alike to a certain degree. Basically follows a wizard named Alex who is in London. He runs a magic shop and Alex is a wizard that's able to see into the future. And he basically is going to get dragged into some wizard politics and has to basically cover his own butt, cover his own tochas, so he doesn't get in too much trouble. While this is going down, he also has his best pal, Luna, who's his kind of, sort of, not really apprentice, who, if they touch anyone, they get the worst luck ever and they die. So, real, really weird combination, got some dressing vibes to it, I'm super excited, and this is the first book in Benedict Jacka's The Alex Verse series, I do believe is how it's called. Next on the list, we have Rosemary and Rue by Seanan McGuire. This is another urban fantasy series that I proposed in Pick My Next Series. This one follows a changeling whose name is not Rosemary, but is whose name is October. And a changeling is someone who's fey and mortal, as in one parent is fey, another parent is mortal. Yeah, that's how that works. And she's chosen to basically be immortal, but she's also a PI, a private detective, and she is basically going to get dragged into the Fae world when her best friend, in the, who's a full pure-blooded Fae person, is murdered. And she has to basically come out of, like, Fae retirement and, like, be like, okay, fine, I'll get back into the world as she needs to solve her best friend's murder and figure out who killed this person. So, really looking forward to this one. Next, which is another book that was on Pick My Next series. This is going to be Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Roanhorse. For those who are unaware, Rebecca Roanhorse has recently gotten really popular in booktube. She's a really popular author. Heard amazing things about her. This is the first book in the Sixth World series. This is basically monster hunters in a post-apocalyptic world, but this one is based heavily and primarily on uh, Native American folk tales and religion and philosophy and that kind of stuff and our main character is Native American I do believe and also Rebecca Roanhorse I do also believe is Native American so I'm really excited to pick this one up I'm looking forward to some monster hunting bashing let's get it started people okay the last book I have that is from that video I posted about picking my next series is going to be The Devil You Know by Mike Carey this is a Felix Castor novel this is basically about a freelance exorcist who works in London that is legit all I know, but I just needed to hear London and Freelance Exorcist. So I was sold immediately. I'm really excited for this. If you want to hear more, be sure to check out that video. I just keep saying that. Okay, so sorry, people. Okay, next, this is a book that was not mentioned previously. is going to be Vita Nostra by Marina and Sergei Diochenko. That is just not how you pronounce that, but I apologize profusely. This is a Ukrainian fantasy novel that was written... In, that was written back in Ukraine and has been translated into English, I do believe, I do not know, translated by Julia Hersey. So, this has been translated. I don't know too much about this. I just know it's basically super, 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 super dark Harry Potter. Basically, this girl, she is on a beach and she's approached by this man and this man basically says, you have to go train at this magic school and if you don't go train at this magic school, we're going to kill your entire family. So, go train at this magic school. And his magic school is not like Harry Potter where it's like, Swish and flick, Wingardium Leviosa. No, it's not like that. It's like mindless, going crazy, like weird magic that's like much more realistic, I would think, um, than compared to the Harry Potter universe. But this one is supposed to be a really dark novel. It's supposed to be really refreshing for those Harry Potter fans out there. And it's supposed to be written like amazingly well. And it's supposed, like I've heard a lot of people say like this could be a classic one day. So I'm really looking forward to this. Okay, so my next book I have for you guys is a book that, like, everyone probably has heard or if not seen, if not read. I'm really late to the game on this one, but I saw it on my bookstore, so I picked it up because where I live, it takes a while sometimes for the new releases, even after a year, to get to my country. So, it got there, it arrived, I picked it up. To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. This is the writer of Aragon, as you guys probably all know. This is a sci-fi, exploratory, space-traveling intergalactic war type book. Basically, from what I understand, this girl named Kira discovers some kind of alien relic and this kind of jump starts her on this like journey of exploration and discovery. I don't know too much more than that. I just, my friends have told me to pick this one up. One of my bestest friends in the world who was like, you need to read this book ASAP. I was like, okay, fine, I'll read this book ASAP. So yeah, it's picked up. It's also good book slapping quality. 
So we're very excited for this one. That I think is pretty much all the books I picked up for the end of March, beginning of April. It's really exciting. I'm super excited to get all these books read for you guys. Yeah, I think that's everything that I picked up this month. I'm, I hope I'm not missing any, but that was my book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to go down into the description box and as I like to call the basement, and be sure to check out the link to the Instagram account that we're starting up so you guys can be up to date and we give me a personal connection. Feel free to message me on there if you have any questions, recommend personal recommendations, anything like that. Um, as well, be sure to be stoked for the upcoming videos. We've got a lot of tags to get done, people. We have a lot of TBRs and wrap-ups to get done, people. We have a lot of things to get done. I'm super excited to be back in the groove of it, and I'm excited to share with you guys some of my thoughts. So, with that, I think that's all for today, so I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Oh, if you don't mind, maybe while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video. I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye now.